Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Alex. It is January 10th, 2012, and uh, as of January 8th, I was 52 weeks on tea. Um, and I say 52 weeks instead of a year because my first shot was actually on February 8th, and somehow it got offset by a whole month. Um, I even double and triple checked. Um, so I'm at 52 weeks, but not quite a year. That doesn't make sense to me, but oh well. Um, anyways, I am going to make two videos for my 52 weeks on tea. Um, one is going to be this one, and that's going to be kind of a general overview of testosterone and the changes that happened that I expected and didn't expect and things that happened sooner than I thought, etc. Um, kind of just a general video for anybody that's going to possibly be starting soon or anything like that. Um, the other video is going to be a more personal one. Um, you know, kind of some things that I've noticed, especially over the past week, that just kind of hit me. Um, so you can watch that video if you want, or not. Um, keep in mind throughout this video that these are the things that happened with me. Um, and everybody's different. Everybody's body will react differently. Um, you know, just things like that. So, uh, and ignore me because I'm going to have to watch my phone to see when Celia's coming back. So I know to stop recording so that we, you don't hear her come in the door. Um, but anyways, uh... I'm going to start off with maybe some of the first things that happened that I didn't expect to happen so soon. Um, and the first one would be sweat. Um, the amount of sweat in a shorter amount of time that occurred. Uh, doing things from just sitting in my room and being hot um, to actually going outside to work on something. Uh, I could definitely tell that I would sweat more and uh, that I would have to be less hot to sweat, if that makes sense. Um, for example, before tea sitting in my room, I would be really hot, but maybe not sweating that much. Um, whereas I would start to get pretty hot sitting in my room, and I could feel sweat all under my binder and things like that. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't profuse um, perspiration, uh, but it was definitely just a noticeable difference from what I had been used to. Um, the other thing that happened pretty quick... Um, was the increase in libido. Um, I recommend that you get a girlfriend for your first uh, month or so on tea. Um, I, I know that's not possible for everybody, and uh, I'm very lucky that I had a girlfriend, um, and that I still have one. Um, but yeah, my sex drive, whew, it went up. Um, at first I was in denial about that, and uh, then my girlfriend mentioned it, and she said, yeah, think about it, and I kind of thought about it a little bit, and I was like, yeah, you know, it's definitely, definitely changed, um, and so, I, I, and I guess being single could actually really benefit you during, for that, it just depends, um, so yeah, but those are definitely the first two things I noticed, um, along with the voice drop, uh, it's weird because it, to me, in my head, my voice doesn't sound that different, but when I go back and listen to my voice clips, um, I can definitely tell that there's a difference and that, you know, it's just, you know, a lot deeper. Um, no wonder I wasn't passing before. Like, I go back and watch my first intro vid and I'm just like, really? That is what I sounded like? Um, at, at first I would watch other people's YouTube videos and, and thought maybe it was just maybe they changed you know, cameras or something, but no, it's, it's actually a dramatic difference. Um, mine, it was noticeable within the first month, and then by six months, it was a lot deeper, and it's even changed between seven months and um, 12 months. Uh, I, I just did, I just updated my recordings, and I'll, I'll put a link maybe to my SoundCloud or something, or, you know, do a video with them, but, uh, it, it definitely happened faster than I thought, but at the same time, it wasn't noticeable until I uh, really listened to the voice clips. Um, so in your mind, you won't think it's much deeper when really it is. Um, that's all I can really think about what happened pretty fast that I wasn't expecting. Um, the other things that... There were some things that I was kind of hoping might just happen, that I might be the uh, one-in-a-million case. Um, I had read things about maybe shoe size increasing or maybe height increasing, um, which I got really excited about because I am only 5'3", and despite being on testosterone for a year, I'm still short. Um, so I wouldn't get your hopes up about that, 
my shoe size didn't change. Um, I'm pretty sure my hand size hasn't changed. This ring still fits, and I got it a year ago. Um, most watches are still too big for my wrist. This one's a little big, but uh, I like it. I got it for Christmas. It's really cool. It's got tons of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's uh, fundamental things like that have not changed. Uh, one thing I did find interesting, something I did not expect to happen at all, my nose changed. I know you may not believe me, but go back and watch my first video. It's a little more round in here. It's a little more plump. I don't know. Um, craziest thing, really. But um, other than that, my, my hands are pretty much the same. My arms are the same. Uh, everything's pretty much the same as, as far as size goes. Um, you know, the length of my fingers, just random things like that. Um, so don't expect any of that to change, really. Um, it didn't change for me, at least. If somebody happens to get taller taking testosterone, then I'm very jealous. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it. A um, couple of other things. Uh, facial hair, it, it all depends. Um, for me, I can now have a decent kind of chin strap kind of going. It kind of is, you know, thin down here. But uh, the sideburns can grow in pretty well. And, uh, you know, you may shave and it may take five days for you to even feel anything. Um, that's how it was when I first started tea. And now a year later, I shave today and I can already feel right in here the hairs are coming back. Um, I can I can hear it whenever I rub against it. You know, I can feel it. Um, it does take time. And you'll think that, you know... People say that if you shave more, it comes in faster and thicker, and, and that's really a myth. Um, Google it all you want, and you'll find a lot of, of people saying one way or the other, but I'm pretty sure it's a myth. Um, you know, it, it's just going to take some time for it to get to where it grows well. Um, some, you know, biological, cisgendered men uh, can't grow facial hair. Um, some transgender guys, they don't grow facial hair after being on tea for one or two years. Um, but don't let it don't let it bring you down any. Um, you know, just as not having a penis doesn't make you any less of a man, neither does not having a mustache or a beard. Um, I was pretty excited to get my chin strap, though. Uh, it's, it's very light, and I don't even know if it looks good, but I like it, and that's what matters. Um, but you will notice that start to happen. Um, one of the things that I wasn't sure if it would happen or not is uh, the, the development of an Adam's apple. And I had heard, I, I think I had read a few different things on whether or not that could happen. And uh, I've got a little bit of one. And it's uh, it's definitely... So it's going to be back soon, so I'm going to have to wrap this up. Um, it's definitely not too noticeable. But at the same time, it kind of is. And Celia even pointed it out to me. Um, it's a bitch to shave over right here. It's really weird. Um, something else that uh, one of my friends noticed that I didn't really notice that much um, was whenever you talk, the, the vibration kind of drops down into your chest, um, which is a little weird um, if you're not used to that. You know, if, if your voice is higher, it's coming more out of your throat instead of down from your, your chest, and uh, that's something to get used to. Um, I can't really think of any anything else really. Um, I stopped documenting a lot of my changes because I was getting busy with school, and uh, you know, people people are right. You'll want to. I kind of wish I had done all my measurements and and everything. Um, I am noticing that maybe my hips of my hips aren't as pronounced. Um, I don't know about my broad shoulders. Um, I've always had decently broad shoulders. As I said, my nose changed. Um, it is easier to get muscle after tea. Let me tell you, if you start working out right before you start tea and keep up with it, you'll notice how much easier it gets. I haven't been working out that much, and starting tomorrow, me and Celia are going to start hitting the gym, and I'm going to start watching what I eat. Um, but since starting tea, I've gone up 15 pounds and then dropped 15 pounds or something like that. It was, it was really scary going to the doctor and seeing that high number, but... It's not really that you're gaining fat, it's that, holy crap, you're gaining a lot of muscle. Um, I mean, I'm not that muscular, and I don't work out, but, you know, you can see that I'm getting a little bit of a bicep, and I can, you know, 
now I actually flex my pec muscles. Um, your chest tissue will flatten out a little bit. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to bind. Uh, things get a little squishier. I don't know. It's uh, it's really weird. Um, but that does change. Other than that, um, you know, I have dropped a pant size, um, definitely. Unless Aeropostale just makes their pants really big. Um, because I normally wear a 36, and I went and bought 34s there, and they're too big. So, I, I, I equate that to dropping one pant size instead of two, because I think they make their pants a little big. Um, but yeah, those are just some of the changes that I've noticed. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, but... Uh, I don't really know if my facial structure has changed that much. I'll have to go back and look at my videos and compare. Um, but everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, all of my weight had previously been in my stomach area, and that's where it still is. Um, it's not around my sides. I don't really have too crazy of love handles, though they are there. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of extra weight in my thighs. So I can't really talk about the fat redistribution. Um, but yeah... That's about all I have. Um, I, I did get acne pretty bad on my arms, and I don't know if you can see or not, but it's probably really too white in here for you to see, but um, it, it did get my arms pretty bad, my shoulders and my arms. Um, of course, too bright for you to see. Um, you can see a couple of the spots right here. But uh, that was... That wasn't fun. My back got a little bit of acne, but not too crazy. Um, but that's really going to depend on who you are, um, like the facial hair. Um, I still can't grow a mustache. I haven't really... I finally shaved it the other day because they were just all wispy. Um, I kind of get a reverse Hitler thing going on. It grows right here, but not in the middle. Um, so yeah, those are just some of the things that you can maybe expect to happen, not expect to happen. I'm probably going to have to re-record this because it's probably way too long. Um, but I hope this helps somebody out. I hope that it kind of gives you the answers that you're looking for. Um, the one thing I did not cover is uh, dick growth. Um, I'm going to say it happens. Don't get your expectations set too high. Um, you'll go from nothing's really noticeable down there to hey, it's noticeable now, and that's something. Um, but other than that, not much. So I am going to... Stop recording now because I is back. See ya.